today we are going to play The Lion King for the SNES. Now this game can be very frustrating. It came out in 1994, I think mid-1994. Um, it probably was actually uh, released right after the movie was released. That's usually kind of how it happens. I think they got the idea for it, or Disney came with them at the idea, or they got the license in, uh, I think, maybe late or early 2000, 1993. And then they had, I think, about a year to put it together because it had to be out by the time this was released. Um, and they um, they made this purposely hard because the analysis at Disney said that, and the analysts said that people won't buy video games if they can rent them and they can get far in them. That's that's actually why Battletoads was uh, was made so hard. They they made the game to compete with Ninja Turtles, but they made it hard so people would buy the game or just keep renting it, renting it, renting it. Just more money. It's all about money, and usually in this world, unfortunately, that's the main reason behind things. So, anyways, let's not get into politics. Let's play this game. Um, there's the Genesis version is pretty much the same. I think the controls are a little bit tighter in this. In the, in the Genesis version. So let's go down the options. Now there's an easy, normal, and difficult. Easy just means that you get eight guys. Uh, normal, you get three guys. Difficult, you get zero guys. Or one, one guy. Yeah, you get zero guys. You don't even get to play the game. That's how difficult it is. So let's just go with easy, because if you're playing this and you need to walk through, chances are you're gonna need the extra guys. So let's go ahead and hit start. Now, uh, start it the game. It starts. Told you, it starts. All right, uh, Simone. Is it Timon or Simone? I don't know. The Pride Lands. This game, this level is pretty much to get you uh, used to the controls. You can roll if you go forward and then hit, you have to hit diagonal, but you have to, you have to have a little bit of a running start to be able to do it. And then there's jump and then there's roar. Notice at the top left, there's a roar meter. I think that's just the power of it because there's power ups that make this bigger. So all you have to do is just jump on the enemies on the first thing. And don't jump on that guy. You have to roar at him and then flip him over. And that's how you can get him. And those are, there's uh, the main enemies in this one so just keep going and it's just like a platform thing that you just have to go you keep getting higher and higher on each side so just go up here and then try to collect all the power-ups on the way over now those blue bugs will blow up after you jump on them so you got to run away from them they're hardly ever in the game though so these gold bugs will give you more life but our health bar is already as high as it goes so with this guy jump on it and then run because he'll he'll blow up see that kind of explosion jump on him jump on him now roar you will flip over jump on him now right here you see that red bug that ladybug that is a very vital part of the game because that is going to grow our health meter and because right now it's real small but it'll it'll get bigger so to get this it's kind of tricky just drop down right here you now jump on this rock now just tap oops you just you're just you just uh oh we have to go the other way you tap jump you tap the jump button because if you long press the jump button you'll go higher and you'll just jump on the ledge every time so with this you just have to tap it so let's see if we can do this again <laughs> i keep messing up all right i'm done messing around every time i say that i mess up all right this time this time's gonna be different there we go just tap the jump button and that lion is the check part. It's a ch uh, checkpoint. So if you die, you'll come back at that point. So whenever you see that, be sure to hit it. Now right here, this is a secret a lot of people don't know. Jump right here and climb over it. And then watch out for this dude. Just drop down, roar at him. Now roll through this part. And it's going to take us to a little secret part. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him. This thing, I think, I think this bug will give you, if you're full life. Some only give you half, some give you a little bit. I think this will give you a full, but there we go. See, it only went up, and then here's a continue. So, get back up here. Jump on, do a little tap. And then, where is it? I think you jump through over here. Yeah, there we go. You can just run through there, and you'll get out of it. So now we have to climb back up. But the good thing about this game is the enemies don't respawn. You could just, uh, once you kill them, they're not going to come back, for the most part. I think there uh, might be some that do in some instances, but for the most part, they're just, they just go away. So continue to make your way. Oops, I don't need that way. I need to go this way. So jump over here. 
I don't like him. I don't like his face. So that's why I'm going to hit him. And we can jump over here. And this is one of those health bugs. Cool. And this one will look at a roar meter on the top left screen. Cool. It got bigger. That's the same thing that happened when we got the ladybug. It got bigger. And that is the roar isn't really vital in this game. I mean, there's a, a couple things you need the roar for, but other than that, it's nothing. Cool. So get this. Who is this guy down here? I don't want him to to go away unscathed. So jump back on here. There's another health bug, and I think... Oh, yeah, see, this bug right here that we're about to get on the left side screen, that is for the uh, Pumba um, bonus level, and you just run and grab the bugs. So we got that. Let's jump back on here. We're pretty much done. Here's a check mark. Now, if you just want, walk off this, you're not going to get that bug. You have to jump up on it. As soon as we land that grass, we're going to roll. You'll roll right underneath it if you don't jump. So hang out right here on the right side of the screen and wait for him to jump and then go underneath him. There we go. Now he's going to breathe like that. When he's breathing heavy, that's when you jump on him. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Cool little cutscene. So here's the bonus level. You just run back and forth and grab the bugs that uh, Simone, Timon does. Um, I usually get more than that. But whatever, it doesn't matter because all you get is extra guys. That's all you get. If you get enough bugs, you get extra guys. Sometimes he'll throw power-ups and stuff. Sometimes it'll be one-ups and stuff. But um, that's all you do. But we didn't need them, so whatever. Uh, but it's it's a fun it's fun to do though, just to give you like a personal challenge. Now it's still need to roar at the monkeys. That's not the level name. It's that's uh, that is what it's telling you to do. It's like it's a hint. So if you drop down. Can't Wait to Be King is the name of this level. And this level is actually kind of hard. So if you get bounced up on here, the rhinos will bounce you up. And if you just hang out on the giraffes, they're going to kick you off. So you have to jump off of them. So jump and make sure to make that little jump in between. Or you're not going to make the jumps. So here we are. So we want to roar at both this monkey and jump up and roar at this monkey. If we don't roar at the, those monkeys, you're not going to get past this part. It'll just keep throwing you around and confusing you. And this can be. And this is why the level is confusing. It's because of the monkeys and the tail jump. The tail jump's not fun either. This part, it's going to ask you to. It's going to tell you what to do. You either jump when the arrow is up, and you have to jump over that pink, that pink rhino thing. And jump later, and then you just duck under that. Jump later than or sooner or later than sooner than. Sooner than later. Because if you jump too soon, you're going to land on them. And I, I wait till almost... When I jump, our, the front of the ostrich's hands are almost grazing through the through the little rhino's face. This part is actually pretty hard. And this only comes with experience. Like, it's hard to explain it. Basically, what I want is... Uh, hold on, I'm going to turn that off. Dismiss. So, if you just hit jump you're not going to land perfectly on the next tail. I jump, and then at the last minute, I push over just so the paws hit exact. You want it, You want the paws to hit the the tips of the rhino's tail. Dang it. See what happens? I mean, I played this game 50, 60 times, and it's still hard for me. Maybe it's because I'm videotaping it, and um, and I'm nervous. I, I, um, uh, I cave in when the pressure's on life has taught me I cave in when there's pressure on me, you know, like most people do. So notice there's a one-up here. Now, that is because I have seven guys. If I had eight guys, this one-up wouldn't be here. So let's grab that. And that's a good part about this this um, this part of the game, because it's so easy to die here, it keeps blessing you with the one-up, so you don't get too far behind. So here, you can either jump and grab onto the uh, to that hippo's ear, but that's kind of hard. So we're going to just aim for the tail. And then jump as hard as you can. Oh, you're supposed to jump as hard as you can to get over to the, uh, what's it called? Over to that extra guy. So let's just try this one more time. And look, if you over here, the one-up is still there. So in a way, I guess it's cool to show you that. So let's try to do this. And then there we go. We made it. You have to jump right at the tip when it's swinging you over. That's when you jump or you won't make it. Now here, run and jump as hard as you can to make it onto there. And there we are. Now, this is the ostrich part where it doesn't tell you to um, to 
jump or duck or whatever. You have to figure that out on your own. Duck when you see those and jump when you see those. Ooh, I thought we were done. Whoa! <laughs> see, it's hard. You know, for me it's hard once again, but it's probably because I'm on, on there's pressure on me. So to get through this part, hit this. That's very vital. <laughs> now we don't have to deal with that again. Now we can just deal with the monkeys. So I believe the first thing you need to do is just roar at this monkey. Okay, don't jump on this guy because he'll take you nowhere. Jump over on this guy and he's going to send us to the other thing. Now roar at this monkey. Okay, we roared at him. Now we have to run across. Notice how the things go up and down. Wait for it to go up. Oh, stupid thing. Well, that's what happens, man. Okay, so let's re-roar at this monkey. Now let's go to the other, other one, other side. Uh, like I said, this level can be very frustrating. When we land, we're going to roar at the monkey, then we're going to try to go across the logs again. All right, roar. Now get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want that. There we go. Cool. Okay, now let's just run across again. I don't like how you have to run before you jump. Now, we roar at both the monkeys, right? No, 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 we go across again, I think. I believe that we go across again. Why would we go across again? Why would I do that? That was stupid of me to do that, to say that, because it doesn't matter. We were, I think we were supposed to roar again. Oh, no, we don't. Now we can, oh, okay, yeah, no, no, we did it, right? So we roar at this monkey. Now get that blue bug, and then... No, I didn't want on you. I think that, that won't take us anywhere. Yeah, see, here we go. And then we roar at this monkey again. Now, we jump on this, and I think this is the end of the level. Yep, okay, good, we made it. So here's Timon's bonus thing. Um... You have to get all the bugs. Don't get the Black Widows. That will end the game automatically. Um, so, uh, try to get as many as you can without hitting those Black Bugs. Because that will, like I said, it'll end the game right away. Um, yeah, and just go nice and slow. You know? Because the game gives you 40 seconds. And I think there's a spot over... Oops, I see what happens when you hit it. So, Elephant Graveyard. First thing we want to do is there's going to be... You see those those hyenas that are in the... Uh, the what would it be? A, what are those old elephants called? Woolly mammoths? Maybe, yeah, the mammoths. Um, it's a woolly bully. <laughs> um, it's uh, So, two hyenas are going to jump out at you. So do what we did the first part, and just watch out for them. Just make, wait for them to breathe heavy. There we go. And then jump on them. If you're playing on a more difficult level, it would, um, you'd have to jump on them more than once. So we go this way now. So go left, and jump over this, and then there is a health over here. So there we go, there's that. And then we, there is another spot right here. Um, and then I think you could roll... No, 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 no. Okay, nope. That bug is on it. Oh, we'll get that later. So go down here. And don't get that bug. That will take away some of your life. Okay, jump off of this as soon as you go, because it'll fall off, see? Now... Oh! Okay. 
think there is a way to... Yeah, see, there's a bug. We can get that bug. Dang it, get off of me. Okay, that's not the way to get the bug. I think you have to jump off of this. There we go. Climb up on it. There's a lot of pits in this game, so that just gave us the bonus. So, drop down from here, but make sure you don't drop over on there, because you'll fall down. So, I don't believe you have to hit every one on this. But just get to this one, and then make these jumps. Here we are. Okay, now we're gonna jump, and then jump off of that. Now watch out for the bird. He'll, he'll, he'll come down. You just gotta hit him. Oh, come on. You gotta hit him twice. He's a punk. Come on, dude. Oh, I, guess I, I think you have to hit him twice. Oh, oh, watch out for that. Now you can roll through this. There's the life meter. Cool. Now run and jump. Barely even made it. What's going on? Oh, okay. All right. So here's another of those birds. Be prepared. Now this is kind of tricky. So you have to jump and then go on it that way. Now you can just jump and it'll make it automatically. I'm just hitting the jump button. Here we are. Now we can jump up onto here. What is, what's up here? I forget. Okay, we, there is a pit down there. Yep, that's where there was. Yeah, because if you would have just dropped down, you would have fallen to your doom. So you have to jump it, get them, and then go at an angle. Now roll through this. Here we are. Now just climb your way. Wait a minute, no, there's something here. Yep. You. Here, it was a cool. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was some sort of power up. Maybe it was a life thing. So, climb up here. Now, these vultures are easy because they just walk back and forth. Now, these things can help you jump up higher. On the Genesis version, if you jump on them, I think three times, they'll snap. But on this, I don't think they do. So, jump up on here, and then just keep jumping back to here. I just, when I'm gonna jump over to this one, all I do is hold right and then jump and never let go of the right until I land. And jump again and crawl up. So we're gonna have to drop down after this to get that one. So hit this guy and jump across. Okay, cool. We made it to this part. This part is... Um, you have to go really fast, so just watch what I do. Be prepared. Fast as you can. Because if it hits it, you die automatically. Then you can jump up on here and then climb up. And then you just got the thing. To get out of here, you can roll. So, jump across that. Oh, man. So here's the next thing. If you want that power up, the one that we saw? Oh, yeah, we have to hit him twice. The ones up here we have to hit twice. There was a power-up down there. Remember we saw it? If you want to get it, just go down and then push over. As soon as you get it, you push over. We could try to get it. Oh, wait a minute. Where'd it go? Now we have to do it. Oh, I know where it was because we did it too soon. Now, look, now guess what happened. Um, there it is. So, how come we weren't getting this one? It's, oh, we didn't go far enough. Or we went too far, I think. Yeah, because it's just right here. We have to do something to get that. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see here. That's going to hurt us, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to hurt us. So I think it's right down here, right? Where is it? Oh, I know what we do. We hang on this. And then drop down right here, and then we roll. There. Now, jump to this one. And we got the blue bug. Okay, that's how we get it. But here's the thing. We have to go through that spike again, and so we're going to have to get hit. Okay, drop down to here. 
Now let's drop over again and make this gauntlet. I guess it's not really a gauntlet. Man, this is why I don't like the Genesis or the Sega or the SNES version. It's a lot easier to jump on things in the Sega version. And sometimes this version jump makes you hang on things that you don't want to. So this is the part I was talking about. There's no way to make it across this without getting hurt. So just jump, get hurt, and then jump over here. Jump on this sucker, MC. We don't need it. Jump, or that that's a bad thing. Oh, I'm making it. See, bam, jump on him. Wait for him to come. Oh, we should have. There we are. Now we can hit him, and they're done. We just got some life. Come down here. I don't even think you have to fight them. You can actually just run past them if you don't want to fight them. Oh, you punk. You're done. Huh? Want to mess with me? Okay, there is something around here. What is it? Oh, there's that thing. Yep, that thing. So hang on this. Hang on there now. Yeah, fall that way. And then you can just jump through this. There we go. And that's pretty much all the secrets in this level. Make sure you make this jump. If not, you have to do the game. If you fall here, this is the beginning of the level. You have to do the whole thing over again. So just beat these guys. Come on, jump. Here we are. Ooh. Breathe hard, my friends. Breathe heavy. And then, ooh, another one, huh? Is there any more? Nope. All right. And that's the end of the level. See Scar? All right, here's the bug toss. Again. This one's... It gets kind of hard. You know? What ones do you grab? Boom, boom. See, you can... Ugh. It's hard, man. At least we got more than last time. This level is hard, okay? You're probably going to die a lot, and we probably will too. We'll probably die maybe two or three times, maybe even four times. But after a while, you kind of start... There's, you just can't like just, oh, I'll just hang out here, hang out there. The game will... The AI in the game will identify that you're trying to be a little cheap, and it'll come and run you over. So, um, I think you always have to, there, the rocks will come at the exact thing, at the exact same thing, but, um, place, but the wildebeest, I think, have, have the AI in them where they can almost spot you, kind of. A lot will come in the same direction, but I think there's a, I, I might be wrong about this whole thing, maybe it's just my paranoia. But anyways, this is hard, and just kind of follow along with what I do. For the most part, just make sure they don't hit you. If they hit you, they take away, I think, half your life. You can get hit twice by them. And it's kind of hard to detect exactly where they're coming. Dang it. Alright, we're screwed. We got hit already. Now this is going to be real hard. So jump at the last minute. It's like it, it'll flash for a while, then jump. You have to wait. It'll always be on the right side. Yeah. See, that one would have hit us if, if we would have been. Oof, man. Okay. Jump. Oh, no. See? That's okay. Fudge. Get away from me. Whoa. We made it. Whoa. That was close. Kill him. Kill him. Simone, S Simba's Exile. This level is extremely annoying. Not, uh, the majority of it isn't hard, but there is one part in there that is very hard to jump over a rock. And let's see if we can make it. There's actually quite a few of different, um, what's it called in here, power-ups. So let's just go. There's rocks that fall too. So, see that rock? Yeah, they just fall at random places, and you're going to get hit um, sooner or later. Um, down there in that pit, it's not a bottomless pit, but there's nothing there for you. 
It's just a way to trick you. But here, you can fall down pretty much all the way and get that. But don't go all the way down because there's thorns there. Watch out for the porcupine right there. Now here, drop down all the way and roll into here. Because we just got a life. Not or it's a it's just a health thing. If you don't if you don't need the health, then don't go into it. Get these things and remember they blow up here. Go down all the way. Now we're going to roll into here. And this is where our thing is. That's our the bonus thing. So here's where the boulder is. You gotta run over here. And then jump. See what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard to um, to get past it. So here I'm going to show you a different way you can take. You're still going to have to actually you're going to have to deal with more more things, if anything. So this is the way if you didn't fall down this crevice. So there's going to be a porcupine that you got to roll through. There we are. That if that hits you, you'll die. So jump on there. Underneath here are a bunch of porcupines that we want nothing to do with. So jump through there, and then watch out for these guys. Now here's the rock. It's super hard, super hard to make it through there. Um, let's see if we can do this one more time. Let's see here, no, no, no. It's easy to get back there. You know, to that spot, but that, that spot is just, it's just terrible. There we are. Now, let's see if we can make it through here again. There we are. We made it through here. Okay. So, out here. Okay, these are some long jumps that we're going to have to make, but they're pretty easy. Just go over here and then take a long running jump and you'll make it through here. One more. Now we could drop down here. Snake rattle and roll. Oops. Get up here and land on these things. There's gonna be a thing coming up pretty soon. Don't fall down here or you're gonna die. Here we go. And right down here is where the thing is. Yep. Yes, we made it. We made it to the halfway point. But the other half isn't isn't hard at all. I mean, there is some... Uh, there is some definite, uh, dang it, things we got it. Okay, so here it is. Wait, you can roll into here, and there's some sort of power up. I don't know exactly what it is. Come on, I might die. There we are. Make it here, there, get up, run, and make these last couple jumps. And here's the end. If you ever come back, we'll kill ya! We'll kill ya! There's a lot of death in this. Here's the bug toss. Yeah, whatever. Hakuna Matata. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this level is... What do you mean? It doesn't really matter. Um, I was thinking to myself about something. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Reassuring myself. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. So this level can be very, very annoying. But this is the level of where you can really get your health meter to a lot bigger. But it's kind of a long process. But I'll, I'll show you how to go. So the first thing you want to do is... Um, you don't even have to mess with these guys. As soon as you go down, go on the right side and just hit right. Just hold down right. So hold down right. I'm holding it down, holding it down, holding it down. There we are. Now we could jump over this, jump over there. Watch out for the spiders. They're really annoying. Up on here. Now go this way. Over there. Now here we are. Okay, yeah, up here. There's gonna be a, a one up right there. So to get that, jump to the next one, but you have to go that way. Now you can just jump up on there. Now just, you can actually watch. I'll just hit the jump button and you'll make it. Just do it at the peak. But with this one, you have to hit over a little bit and over. Now just hit jump and jump 
and that way. Here's oh. there. There is that's a very vital point. You have to get that to be able to do this trick I'm talking about. So if you want to get that bug over there, all you have to do is just run and jump and get it. But you just have to make these jumps again. Watch out for the spiders. So go over here, jump this, make these again. That's what happens if you don't jump right at the peak. You won't make it. So here we are. So this is, um, here, get these guys. Now here is what you need to do. You need to hit, jump on the right side of this thing, because if you don't, you'll go to the left. So once you go right, you hold right, and at a certain spot, you hit left. And I'll tell you when to go left. So hold right, right. Now hold left, 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 left. See, our health meter just got bigger. That bug won't show up again unless you die all the way and have to continue. But at this point, we have like six, seven continues. So what we're going to do is we are going to keep dying. Just keep dying until it makes you continue. And then do that same thing over and over. I'll show you how to get it again if you didn't quite get it. So die. And it's going to start you off right here. So all you have to do is just kind of jump over them or whatever. You don't even have to kill them. So remember... Uh, jump onto the right side and hold right. Right, right. Now hold left. That's where you would have got it. So after you slide down the first one, just hold down left after that and you'll get it. So I'm just going to keep dying, keep dying, keep dying. I'm going to do this three times. So uh, it's going to take me quite a bit because I'm going to have to go through uh, 24 lives. So it might take you, um, you know, five, six, ten minutes to do it. But anyways, I'll fast forward through this part for you. But I'm just going to do it. Okay. Here is... I've done it three times. Now, so that's including the first go-through. I had to continue twice. So each run-through, I got it. I got that bug. Um, I got the bug three times in a row. So I had to continue twice to get the bug three times. So now we can make it through the rest of our level. And notice how that the... Our thing is a lot bigger, our health bar. It's it's twice as bigger now. So, and that's gonna help out for these later levels. So let's make it through this last part. So what we want to do is after you uh yeah, make it through these guys, you guys can shoot stuff, so it's they can be kind of hard. Um so just jump over this guy. Now we want to land here and then just hold right. Just hold right the whole time. Um yeah, through here. Because now we're on this this ledge right here. If not, you have to go it's 10 times harder if you go from the bottom. So here, what we want to do, you can notice that there's things going um, at different speeds. So this, the first one that's closest to me that's at the top, that's the slowest moving one. And the one in the middle is fast. And the one, the third one in is a medium one. So I'm going to unpause it and just look how fast they're going. See how there's the fastest, the medium, and the other one? We want to wait for a medium one and then we're going to jump on the longest one and just kind of watch how i do it this can be tricky so jump on this one and then that wait for another here's a slow one and a... okay i kind of screwed up here let's let's try this again wait for the medium one again here it is now we can hop on this now that one and this one now we could hop another medium and this one wait for the medium Oh no. You could easily die on this level. It's it's But to get to that point, it's not hard at all. Just go over here again and all you have to do is hold right. Drop down again and hold right. Here we are. Now we're back at it. Wait for the uh wait for that medium one to come. There we are. Actually, let's wait for that thing again. It is. Wait a minute, why is it doing this to me? Let's see if we can reset this thing again. Wait for the medium one. Here it is, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, jump over these guys. Now just hold right. Try this again. Okay, there's gonna be 
be a medium one. Here it is. There we go. I'll jump on that one to this one. That one to this one. Another medium one. Just keep waiting for the medium ones. And you keep jumping over. There's another medium one. There we go. And then, oh, nope, didn't make it. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, okay, there we go, we made it up. So just wait for the, keep waiting for the, um, for the medium one to come, and then there's gonna be a slower one. So just jump on the medium and go to the slow. So it goes medium, slow, medium, slow, medium, slow, medium, slow. And you just keep going in a zigzag pattern. And then at the very last one, jump on one or you think you could make it up. All you have to do is just jump past this part. So right here, here is a blue bug, a blue roar bug. So if you jump over here and just hang on there, that's how we get it. Or hang on the ledge. So now let's run and jump over here so we don't have to do this gauntlet again. So... Just keep dropping down from here. You can just look down to make sure that you're gonna land on the platforms. And here is a continue part. And this is cool because this is where the, the monkey boss is. So just keep dropping down. And then we have to jump over here. Okay, so here's the monkey boss. If you go near him, he's gonna slap you. So you have to wait for him to stand up because he's gonna hit the ground. Um, so jump, he usually throws three to begin with, um, uh, coconuts. So don't let the coconuts hit you, but you can jump on them. So as soon as he's done throwing them, he's going to stand up so he can slap the ground. That's when you jump on him. If you're standing on the ground and he slaps it, that's also going to hurt you. So just watch. Just jump over him. And then when he stands up, that's when you jump on him. Then get away from him because usually he might try to jump again. So climb up here and do the same. Wait for him to throw. He might throw a little bit more, or he might not. There we go. Jump on him. Now run over here. If he if he would have jumped and he lands on you, that's going to hurt you. Now jump on him and just get over here. Or if you're on that side, drop down so he can't hurt you. Now he's going to start throwing these coconuts. So... And if, if you're hanging on the ledge and the coconut goes near you, it, uh, just keep hanging because he can't hurt you then. Dang it. I don't know if I hit him or not. I accidentally rolled. Ooh, I think we did hit him because he wouldn't be throwing this many. Ooh. Oh, you punk. You're a punk. Slap you if you get too close to him. And yeah, now watch out because he'll jump up even higher. Okay. Now jump to the last one. See, look, if we didn't get those things, see, look, those things are coming. So you can just hang and they won't hurt you. So just wait for him to. Yeah, there we go. You just wait for your time. Abide your time. Bam. Now he's going to jump over here. So. Be real careful when you're over here, because if he slaps you off, man, that sucks. I don't know if you die right up. You might land in some water if he slaps you off this way. Oh, see? He could slip you off. If he slaps you off, then I think he's going to... Yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, there we go. We beat him. Yeah. See you next fall, monkey boy. Yeah, see, that would have been us if he would have slapped us off that top thing. So here's the bug hunt. Again, just take your time.
Yeah, we got an extra one. Cool. Okay, so now we are, um, we are an adult lion now. So did we have an extra attack. Now he swipes. You don't jump on him anymore because that won't do anything. Jumping on him won't do anything. Now you have to swipe to be able to destroy enemies. And also there's a, 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 a more stronger attack, which is the maul. He'll stand up and he'll start scratching. But I don't recommend using that very often. I would just stick with the slaps because they're, they're quick and they're efficient. So let's get started. So on this level, there's these panthers, but you can just usually just stand in one spot and just keep swinging. And see if you get too close to them and you hit them, it'll hurt you. So I usually just stand in one spot or just kind of creep up to them. Okay, now you have to swipe or you can't get through those. Now there's monkeys too in here that are very annoying because they'll throw stuff. So as soon as you see that monkey, take them out because the, they throw stuff at you that can hurt you. Oh yeah, there's a power up above there. Now swipe this and jump across. Oh yeah, there is another power up. And then swipe and jump over. Get this monkey. Get all the monkeys. Swipe these. Now stay right here. Go and just keep slapping. Because I think there's four of them. Uh, four or five. There's four. Five. Six. Now here's Rafiki. And he'll let you through. Now jump up on here because there's monkeys up here that can hit you. So just take him out. If not, when you're going through the bottom, he'll throw stuff at you. Which is really annoying. So go through here. Um... What is it? What am I doing here? Okay, you can't go through there. I think there's there's a rock coming up here. What's down there? Where you go? Oh, so here's the rock. Stand at a distance. If that rock hits you after you cut it off, you'll die instantly. So just swipe at a nice angle, and that'll go, and it'll be a nice little bridge for you to get across. Or a little platform. Now I believe you, yep, run, jump, and take him out. There's another one, I believe, over here. Yep, take him out. There's a continue down there. See, look what they can do. We, we can't get them yet, but we will get them. Guarantee we will get them. Okay, there's a way to get this. Uh, I think, it's not right here, it's this next one. Okay, there we are. Uh, how did I get that? I think there's a... Man, I forget how you... I thought there was something to hang on. Maybe it was something we had to do before. Nah, I don't want to hang out too much. But, but that is bugging me. How did I get that? I got it before somehow. Well, it looks like I forgot how. Maybe it was something to do with before the the boulder. But I don't, I don't need it and I don't really want it. So... Here we go. I want to take these monkeys out first because they obviously need uh, an attitude adjustment. You need a lesson in manners. So let's go back here because you can swipe this and we can get one of the blue roars. Weird. I wonder why the roar didn't go up. It was a blue one. Maybe I didn't see it. Swipe these and like we said, just wait for them to come to you usually. You can just slap them. Just slap them around. Man, now that continue is going to bug me. Oh, it's this. Keep hitting it. Yep, this is another Rafiki part. So just keep slapping them. And they won't hurt you. As long as you just keep slapping them. Because next... Yeah. There you go, Rafiki. So if you get up here... I think... Oh, no, no, no. You just run. Just keep running and the boulder won't hit you. As long as you keep running, the boulder won't hit you. If it hits you, you die instantly. But it always stops just in time. What the, oh, see the stupid monkey. That's why you take out the monkeys. I think we could... Oh yeah, we 
jump across here. There we go. Now we've got some life. And I think this is where you hit the boulder. Yep. Now don't get too close because it will hit you. So there is a... Okay, see what I did? When I jumped, I went like this. Slash, slash, and then go away. So, Because if you just jump up slash, you'll land on it. You have to go slash, slash, and then go away from it. That's how I did that. Now there's something. Oh, you got to land on this thing. Dang it. Anyways, you just keep making it through there. Not today, monkey. Ugh. This was no composition by a performing monkey. This was a music I had never heard. Filled with such longing. Such unfulfillable longing. It was as if I was hearing the very voice of God. But why would God choose such an obscene child to be his instrument? It was not to be believed. This piece had to be an accident. It had to be. Better be. And scene! Amadeus. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, if you hit this, just swipe it. And that'll come and give you a nice platform. I think there's a blue bug up here. Some sort of power-up. Yeah, there's the blue. There we go. We got a longer roar now. Whatever that does. If you know what the roar does, let me know. Like, why you need a stronger roar. There we go. Now we can get up here. And slash that monkey. Spank that monkey. And just wait here and just keep slapping it. Let me through Rob Geeky. I think this is the end. Nice. Yeah, because he just dropped down. Yeah, so just drop down, and that's the end. Mufasa. You must take your place in the circle of life. Here's the bug hunt. Again. You know, I don't even need him. But it's... It's fun, though. It's fun. Because, like I said, all you get is extra guys. But I don't need them. Because I already have eight. The game won't give me more than eight. Ooh, I think, I think it shows you. Look. Oh, yeah. It does. Every ten, you get a free guy. Oh, that's cool. I didn't, I didn't realize that. This level is annoying. If I had a top ten list of annoying, frustrating levels in gaming, this would make the top 10. This is going to... It's hard, especially in the SNES version. The Genesis version's a little, little bit more forgiving with the bats, um, but for the most part, this, this sucks, you know? So there's gonna be dripping lava, and there's bats. Every, every time you see a bat, get the bat before anything. Doesn't matter what's going on, there could be other things trying to attack you. Get the bat. And with these guys, you can just usually stand there and just take them out. Now, see how there was a drip? I like to... Oh, yeah, get these bats. They're hanging. So I like to wait for the thing. There's going to be one more drip. All right, now jump over. And get this... Oh, stupid bat. Okay. Slap him around. Okay, jump up and get that bat. Oh, yeah, there we are. Okay. Now there's another bat. Get him. Oh, we could. See? That's what that's what I'm telling you. See, you might get hit twice because of the stupid bats. There's gonna be a drip right there. Yeah, wait for it. Now. Dang it. That was dumb. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone. Good. That was dumb. This game is... This, this level... Actually, no, this game is frustrating. Give me that life. 
You stupid bat. And there's another one. Yeah, just kill me. Why don't you just kill me? See, this is the most... Oh, I do not like this level at all. Oh, there's another bat to come to kill me. Give me that life. What else? There's another hyena down here, I believe. Nope. Good. So, you have to jump on this and jump up and hit that a couple times. Now, if that thing falls on you, you're going to die instantly. So just take your time. There we go. Now, jump over this, and we made it to the halfway point. Now, if you go over here, notice that there's a one-up, um, a roar bug, and a life bug. Don't get them. That is not worth it compared to this checkpoint. Um, I guess you could. You could probably die purposely and then go and get these things uh, if you want. Um, actually, no, you can't. Because if you make it through there, you're not going to get this. And if we die, it's going to start us right here. So there's no way to get that. So if you want a roar bug for some reason other than that, or if you want to play through the level again, I guess go for it. But this, le this part is... This is the hardest part of the game. By far, this right here is the hardest part of the game. Every time you see a bat, you have to look out for them. You have to jump up and hit him and then land on this floating because you're going to be floating across the lava. So every time you see a bat hanging, you have to jump up well before you get to him. If you wait too long, he'll hit you and you won't make it on the thing. So we have to just see how I jumped up. Now jump up right there, hit him. Jump up, hit him. Jump up and hit him. Don't worry about that one up. Just concentrate on getting that bat. There we are. Now jump up here, hit him. Now be real careful. Look look below, below us. Okay. All right, there we are. Now jump up and get him. Dang it. See what happens? Now look where we have to start. We have to do that all over again. <sighs> this is going to test you so much. So let's just try to make it through here. You know what to do. Jump right there and then hit him. You gotta... I like to stay a little bit of there. like Almost like he's falling off. There we are. Now we can jump. Jump up here. Make that sweet spot. Now land on him. Take him out. Now we have plenty of time to concentrate on this. Now I like to jump up and hit... Oh. See what happens if you don't get the bat right away? If you stick around too long, he's going to come for you. See? See what I'm saying? Oh, so annoying. Eight tries later. All right, let's just try this again. So, drop down and hit that bat. Keep hitting them like this. Don't wait to get, get to them or they're going to get you. Oh, I'm almost off. Here we go. Now, long jump onto this. Slap, slap, slap forward, slap, slap, slap. Now, drop down and get this dude. Now, this is one of the hardest parts right here. Because you have to jump up, get the bat, and land on there. There we go. There we are. Okay, now here's a boulder that comes. You have to run away from it. Ooh, I paused it. Look, he's about to maul me. With that part, it can be hard because you have to... Um, so when you're going, you're running from the boulder. Here's the boulder running, and you're running from him. When you drop down and go the opposite way, if you go, if you push over too soon before you fully land, you're gonna hang on the thing, and the boulder's gonna smash you. So what you need to do is, um, uh, I like to go until I hit the wall on the first one, and then go over. And on the second one, as soon as I get off the ledge, I'll push down in diagonal, and usually that works for me. But it can be, it can be hard. Yep, my predictions were correct. He did maul me, but I won the war. Jump over here. Now just run off, and he'll he'll go in there. And just hit diagonal down, in there. So this part can be hard. You have to jump at the right time to do there. And if you're not careful, you'll land in the in the thing. 
the Genesis version is a lot easier. I think this, yep. So just go down and here, now. There we go. Oh, that was almost too late. So just keep swiping. See, he almost got us. So just jump up and just keep hitting him. I guess we can go up there. Well, that was cool. <laughs> that was weird. It was like a little glitch. But I believe we're done with the level. I think this, I think we're done. Oh, no, we're not. No, we are not. We're at the checkpoint, though. So get this checkpoint. This part can be a little bit difficult, too, but it's not that bad. Wait for that thing to go. And jump on it. Because there's going to be rocks that come. Now just kind of follow it. Now, I like to go all the way over to right here. And just wait for the thing to go. So if the thing goes right next to you, jump back on it. Oops. And just kind of wait for the thing to go. So that went. So now we're going to jump on this. Oops. And after a while, though, I think after 20 eruptions, the rocks, the big rocks will fall. So after a while, I like to start um, watching out for those big rocks. I don't know how many times it's been, but it's been enough to where... Okay, yeah, don't. Watch out, there's going to be a big rock that falls. Don't get hit by it. I don't care if those rocks hit me. Where is it? There we go. Now jump on this. Now just wait for the big rock to fall on that one. If those big rocks hit you, you're done. Like, it'll kill you instantly. So jump on it, and it'll take you to freedom. <sighs> Man. <laughs> yep. This level is a maze. And if you don't know where you're going, it's going to take you all over the place. But for the most part, it's it's... It's fairly easy, but you just got to be careful with taking out the hyenas. So if for so if you have low level for some reason, um, you can go ahead and get this thing up here. That's not really necessary. We're not going back to this part. So go through the last one. You can see there's all sorts of different caves, and there might be power-ups and stuff, but I don't want to explore. I haven't explored this level. So um, if you know something that I don't, if there's a certain route you can take where there's like a maybe a life meter somewhere that'd be cool but right now i'm just going to beat this level so go through the last one on the bottom the bottom right now jump up here and get him so dang it we got hit already try not to get hit i mean you can we got a huge life meter so there's no other routes to take so just go through this one hit forward and then until you get to that sweet spot see what i did i hit hit forward hit forward and then got to the sweet spot and that's usually what you want to do every time with these guys all right and i think there's one on the bottom too where are you nope okay so just go through here now okay there's we're gonna drop down and we're gonna land on one there we are oh shoot That was quick. So go up here and go through the top left one. All right, now, weird. That just killed him right away. That was really weird. Kill these guys. I believe you go through this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, slap him around slap him around. Alright, now we can go through here. Okay, and there's going to be one waiting for us, but usually he'll jump. Okay. Yeah, there we are. I guess we didn't... Sometimes he, he lands off of the thing. And we go through the top left one here. Alright, this one's full of them. But we have plenty of life. So we're going to kill these guys. Go ahead and get that one, because there's only one left, I think. Yeah. And then after we kill him, the game... Yep, the levels end. Welcome to the last level, Pride Rock. Now, we have to fight Scar three times during this. Three times, and each time he gets harder and harder. So the trick is to slap him. I think every two slaps, two or three slaps, he will start panting and that's when you need to maul him or throw him 
uh, throwing him works a lot faster. But I believe if you maul him enough times, he's uh, he's okay. But I think you do have to throw him. So here we go. Let's start this. He's going to jump over us. Once. Twice. So that's what it looks like when he's panting. The first fight with him is pretty easy here. It's easier. But I still don't know how to properly throw him. It's like I'm holding down, down, and then uh, it, it's, just, it's, it's weird. Go get that, jump over here. lower route right here. Usually that top one's on fire. Let's get this and get that bug. I guess we didn't even really need it, but it's good to show you where it was. Okay, take the top route. Great, and that, because now we have to fight Star the second time, and he's harder. Oh, we got the life. Cool. Alright. So, one, two. Okay, he starts panting then. Ooh, you want a dynasty with me? Slept with my husband. Here we are. You gonna jump? Come on, you got you froggy. We are. There's a third throw. Now he'll back off. Okay, cool. So here is Yeah, that thing usually lights on fire. We have to run and jump over it to get to this. Now attack these guys fairly fast. Or they'll just or they'll get you or whatever. Usually they have a lot less life. This is good because we got quite a bit of life. And we have, there's there's extra we can get extra life too if we need it. Whoops. Whoa, that was that almost sucked. You can't. I don't think you could really fall to your death in this. All you have to do. Well, you can at the very bottom, but it just makes you start from uh, from a lower level. I almost did it again. All I have to do is run off, jump to this next one, run off, jump up on this one, make a small little jump. And then, now, jump over to that. Oops. Okay, that, that'll go out again. Make that small, oops, small, that's why you did the small jump. Okay, now that will go out. So go over here. You see that bug? This next level is Scar. And if we're doing too much, if we, if we, uh, if we need the life, we can. So right up here, when I jump up to this part, this is the very last battle with Scar. And we have to do what we were doing before. We just do that dynasty thing. You know, remember dynasty from the 80s? That they slap each other like you. Why? And then they jump in the pool. That? Remember that? Yeah. So dynasty slap him. And then... And then throw him. And if you're hurting too much, jump off the ledge and get that bug. If you're too low on health. Okay? That's what you do. So here we go. So here he is. There he is, Scar. Now, Dynasty slap him. Not once, but twice. 
Oh, but thrice. Not once, not twice, but thrice. So I'll just slap him until he starts panting. Okay, so I know after two slaps he pants. Ooh, you want to dynasty me? Throw him. He might jump. Nope. Dynasty him again. And dynasty. Dynasty until he pants. I think if you're too far away, he'll just maul him and he won't throw. Yeah, see? Now, he might jump on you, and if he does, just slam buttons. Okay, I need to be a little bit closer to him. There we are. Now we throw him. So, th there will be a time when he's too weak, and it, you'll notice it. I think now he's going to be weak. Oh, see? Now slam buttons. Okay, there. Now I think he's tired. Bring him over here. Yeah, come here, coward. Come here. Bam, huh? How about that? Dynasty. 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 Okay, now jump over him. Now dynasty him. Now throw him off. We just beat the Lion King. Yes! That was intense. Now, if your life was too low, just drop off this cliff right where he's at, and you will land on the second to the last part. So you'll collect that bug, and all you got to do is just, uh, just yeah, wait until he's weak, and then throw him off the cliff. And uh, just like I guess in the movie, right? No, he didn't die like that in the movies. I thought the hyenas got him in the movie. Yeah, the hyenas got him, so this isn't actually accurate. Um, so he'll roar for a while, but then the credits will come. I'll say something, some sort of Disney, Disney quote. Everything the light touches, or something like that. I don't know. It says something, I think. Look at that mane. That majestic mane. But that was a hard game. That was a hard game. Um, a little funny story, I think. So this came out in 1994. So I was in fourth grade in 1994. I could always tell because... Oh, here it is. Here's the quote. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Yeah, everything the light touches is our kingdom. Bam! The Lion King. And we got rolling credits, too. So, back to my story. So, if it's 94, I was in 4th grade. 95, I was, on, I was in 5th grade. Well, it actually depends. Is it the beginning of 94? Or the latter part of 94? Because if it's the beginning part, I would be in 4th grade. But if it's the latter part, I'd be in the beginning of 5th grade. Um, with that being said, um, my family was going to go see The Lion King. And, of course, me... Mr. Like, oh, I don't want to watch that. I don't know. Actually, I wasn't like, no, I don't want to watch it. I think I actually threw a tantrum because we find we were going to go out to the movies and we're going to watch an animated film about a lion? Like, fourth grade me was like, I am not having that. Like, no, I don't know what I wanted to watch. Probably something stupid. Definitely not this. So it's funny. So I copped an attitude the whole time. Like, man, man. And then I watched it. And at the very end, I think I, I, I'm like, thank you for taking me. Like, thank you. I love this movie. Like, typical, like, you little punk. Like, you don't know nothing, yet you're going to keep blabbing your mouth and how much the movie sucks. Now look at you. Huh? Now look at you. Kids are dumb. Always remember that. And they do not know best. Do not try to be friends with your kids. Be parents. All right? Uh... So that's, that's, uh, that's it, man. That, that's the Lion King. And I told you, this is a very, very difficult game. But if you put in the time, it's beatable. You know, it's beatable. And, uh, yeah, there we go. 
the end. How beautiful is that? Like I said, I like the Genesis version better because the controls are, 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 are more tight. But that, when you have to roll those two buttons on that last fight with Scar, it's very, very difficult. Uh, and yeah, it just loops around and there's the beginning of the game. So I hope, uh, hopefully I walked you guys through it enough to where um, you guys know all the secrets and stuff like that and how to beat the levels and um, just uh, play it on your own. It's a really fun game. So with that being said, Lion King, game complete. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next episode.